Hey guys, just having a quick reaction to Halloween Ends and... Oh my god. This is probably like the dumbest home movie I've ever seen in my life. My god. I basically watched this with my mum and man, we were just like questioning like everything that was doing in the whole movie. <laughs> I just wonder what people in the cinemas was thinking like, man, they keep questioning everything, jeez. Just watch the movie, but... When the, when the whole movie is this dumb, it's hard to not question everything that's going on in, going on in this movie so i guess for three minutes non-spoilers seven minutes spoilers if I, if i even go on for that long because i don't want to talk about this trash movie for so long i was looking forward to this movie i probably would say it was my one of my most anticipated movies i mean spider-man that was like number one number two um i guess i don't know about this movie there was like an other movie that came that's already gone past. Yeah. But yeah, basically this was one of my most anticipated movies and it just let me down. And it just it didn't just let me down. It literally let down this whole trilogy that it was making. This new trilogy, Halloween trilogy. You know, from Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. And with how this movie went, I don't even really care how they end it next year in Halloween Ends and it probably won't be like the full ending of this franchise I mean they might do another reboot again who knows I just don't think it's going to end that well it might it might end like Halloween 2 but if you've seen Halloween 2 but you know Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 yeah I think it's going to end like that but you know if Halloween ends but I don't know yet but what can I say for another minute before I talk about spoilers so I can just rip this movie apart because Jesus. I've never seen a movie so dumb and I've seen a lot of dumb horror movies but this one. I mean in recent years this is probably the dumbest I've seen for so long. It did start you know really strong but then it fell apart so fast like man. Oh, I was thinking like man this is actually going to be a really good Halloween movie because I, I did enjoy 2018. There is some flaws with the 2018 one, and if you want to see one of my older reviews, I basically talk about that movie. Like, what I mostly liked and what I guess I disliked. But mostly positives, like, I liked the 2018 movie. There were just some twists and turns I wasn't really a big fan of, if you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. But this movie, it starts well, but then it just, it just falls apart. <laughs> my god. And I'm getting close to talking about the spoilers, but if I was going to rate it... It's between 4 and, and a 5, like, it was that bad, I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I guess, guys, I'm going to talk about spoilers now, so yeah. Spoiler warning. So where should I start with this movie? So basically, this movie begins with, like, a flashback back to 1978. So basically, the cop from the 2018 movie, who we thought gets killed, Hawkins or something, he's basically still alive, and I guess... He, he kind of blames himself for not taking out Michael Myers back then and uh, uh, other thing that he does. So basically him and his partner go after Michael Myers in, you know, Michael Myers' house. They basically sp split up the usual, you know, the cliches. It was cool to go back, in, you know, to 1978, but it's just... <laughs> yeah. have Has those common mistakes that people make in horror movies. And I have to say, like literally the whole movie is like that like from 1978 and 20 and the 2018 timeline you think people would be more smart but in this movie it's so dumb how can you be this dumb like you should know every, all the cliches by now and you still uh, uh, this movie i don't understand <laughs> i just don't understand how they got this movie so on i just think what it was trying to do is make it feel like the olden time you know, horror movies, but if they went way too far with how they followed the cliches and stuff. Ugh. And it even got even dumber than the cliches. If you get dumber than the cliches, you know you've already failed the movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you get that dumb with what some of these characters do in the movie. I mean, the first dumb, I, the first dumb thing I see in this movie is when a firefighter sees Michael Myers coming out the house and the first thing he does is spraying with water like oh yeah that's gonna hurt him a lot 
oh my god and he just massacres all the firefighters you know the scene that you've seen in the trailer which you know the trailer like it shows, it shows a lot of the kills <clears throat> and some of the people who you think are dying in the trailer they're actually dying yeah so yeah man <laughs> this movie but back to the 1978 timeline basically um hawkins his partner gets ambushed by michael myers when he's looking out the window he's basically stand standing in the same place where the sister was in the original film he gets ambushed by michael myers hawkins is you know pointing a gun at um michael myers and his partner who's hostage but then he accidentally shoots his partner in the neck and he bleeds out and then he's chasing after michael myers but he gets away and then Loomis comes, you know, CGI Loomis, because they can't really get the actual Loomis since, you know, the actor passed away a long time ago. Rest in peace. What a legend. I, I kind of, I would have preferred now if they did even show Loomis. Because <laughs> this movie is so bad. Hell, even Loomis was going to kill Michael Myers, but the cop stops him, basically. I wonder what happened to Loomis after that. Did they just let him go? After trying to kill Michael Myers, but he massacred that town <laughs> so yeah you know those teenagers from the first movie and then that cop <clears throat> they should have put him down but if it's what happened in the 2018 timeline yeah people would have just killed him straight away <laughs> yeah and the way how they think they kill michael myers by the end we'll get to that yeah we'll get to that <laughs> oh god so yeah basically the cop blames himself for not put, not letting Loomis take down Michael Myers when he had the chance, even though that probably wouldn't have killed him. He probably would have just disappeared again. Yeah, since Loomis shot him several times in the first movie and he disappeared, shoot him in the head. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically they just arrest Michael Myers and then he's in prison for 40 years. Then the 2018 timeline, he breaks out and stuff. You know the rest. Yeah. <clears throat> And basically, they just what Hawkins does is that his other, like one of his other partners, you know, just basically cover up everything, so they don't they don't know about him shooting his, you know, other partner. So yeah. So yeah, back to the twenty eighteen timeline. Lois Strode's escaped Michael Myers. She sees the firefighters, you know, going into the burning building, like her house, and she's you know screaming like they should stay away, you know, they shouldn't go down there. And yeah. I have to say, what to do with Lois Strode in this movie? It's actually worse than Halloween 2, and I mean the 1981 film where she's barely in the movie. And in this one, she's even more not in the movie. Like, we didn't even need to see Lois Strode at all in this movie. She was literally... They basically did what they did in Halloween 2 where she's barely in the movie. I mean, we don't even get a proper final scene as well. She's not even in the final part of when they're taking on Michael Myers. Where in Halloween 2, that had an epic finale. Because, man, I'm not a huge fan of Halloween 2, but that finale is phenomenal. It's legendary. Yeah. But, yeah, in this movie, she's not really in it. It's more like her family are taking on Michael Myers instead. Uh, and let's just say they screw up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, basically, they bring up the characters from the, you know, the kids from the first movie, the 1978 film, Tommy and Lindsay. Because basically the babysitter of Lindsay dies, you know, the sheriff's daughter, and then Tommy. You know, that was Lois Strode's... Well, Lois Strode was looking after Tommy. And then there's like some other, you know, some of other Lois friends who die as well. They're basically the survivors and that at a pub, celebrating 40 years of being survivors and I guess telling the, the tale. And then that's when they find out that, you know, Michael Myers is on the streets, killing people again. And, man, what they do with those psychos who are also loose as well. Because it wasn't just Michael Myers who escaped. There was also some loonies that, you know, escaped as well. <clears throat> so, yeah. We kind of only see one of them when there's actually more than just one out there right now. So, I'm not sure if we're going to see the other loonies in, you know. Well, that, that guy didn't seem like he was that bad, even though it was kind of dumb how Lois Strode's daughter was helping him when he could have been like a psycho anyway, and maybe he killed her. But everyone just chases him down because they think he's Michael Myers. Because Tommy, what he does is forms the town together to take on Michael Myers, because he kind of tells a story about Michael Myers, you know, when people start dying and stuff. Yeah. 
in this movie. Because we even got we got the nurse from the first movie. We've got um, Tommy and we've got Lindsay, these OG survivors. Because th that's what they actually focus on in this movie, those OG survivors. But they're dumb. <laughs> they're, they're so dumb. Yeah. Getting all these speeches from Tommy, then he ends up dying in a dumb way. Yeah. Lindsay, she gets ambushed by Michael Myers. The nurse dies. She basically hides from Michael Myers. Yeah. So yeah, the nurse dies. <laughs> and they basically put on those Halloween masks, you know, from Halloween 3. Silver Shamrock. <laughs> yeah. Because basically there was like the kids mask, but they got scared away from Michael Myers, I guess. Because Lindsay told them to run. So at least they survive. Yeah. <laughs> also, Lois Strode's daughter's daughter, what she's doing, she basically wants to get revenge because she, her, her dad basically dies in the other movie, which he was a trash character anyway, so who cares? But, you know, for her, it, it, that's, you know, heartbreaking. It's sitting for Lois Strode's daughter. And the daughter ends up going out and getting revenge with her boyfriend and the boyfriend's dad. They try to go after Michael Myers, go to his house, which is... I feel like they needed more people before they was going to go to Michael Myers' house. Also, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. And, you know, it's this generation, they're going to say dumb stuff like this. But there's a scene where gay people are living in Michael Myers' house. And just because Michael Myers kills gay people, they, like, they think he hates gay people when, you know, he's just killing all types of people in this movie. Hell, he, he even kills a kid in this movie, so you think he cares the type of person that he's killing, like, it doesn't matter, like, what race they are or what people they like, it doesn't matter, he's just crazy, he's gonna kill everyone, so it's, it's just, this generation, man, it's so dumb. <sighs> but the kind of dumb thing they even have with them in the movie anyway... You know, is it Little John and Big John? And then one holds like a little knife and one holds a big knife. Like, what the hell was that? It's just a lot of dumb moments in this movie. And when they split up, like, you know, cliche again. Every time people split up when they're in groups, I'm just like, ugh, face palm. Like, the amount of times I faced palmed watching this in the cinemas and me and, me and my mum just, ugh. all the dumb mistakes these characters were making, they, they deserve to die. <laughs> Mm. It's just, oh god. I don't even want to talk about this movie for too long. It's just, it was hard to watch when it was starting to get really dumb with the characters. Even the main characters who I thought I was going to be rooting for, but then when they started to make dumb choices, like Tommy and all them. Because I guess the situation, you know, when the guy comes in. Well, basically, when, when we get to like, is it like the hospital's place where, you know, Laurie's. There's basically a lot of people there, you know, saying things about their family being injured and stuff and dead. And then Tommy kind of forms a riot. And then one of the people from the bus who escaped come in and they think it's Michael Myers. So they chase after him. But then they realise, well, the dot, well, Laurie's daughter realises it's not, you know, Michael Myers. She tries to protect him, even though he could have been a psycho anyway. You know, basically helps him, but they still get to him and I guess he commits suicide. Yeah. So I guess they're trying to say that Michael Myers has made the people become monsters instead of him just being a monster. Yeah. But by, by the end, when people go to Michael Myers' house and, you know, Laurie Strode's daughter's daughter, you know, boyfriend has died and also the dad. She's just like screaming the whole time, watching them die when she could be helping. Oh, that was the worst. When Lo Lois Strode's daughter's daughter's, you know, I don't even care about her name because she's a trash character after this movie, so, yeah. When she's just standing there watching her boyfriend die, oh my god, she could, she could <sighs> So hard to talk about this movie, I'm just skipping that part. Because basically, the mum comes, she kind of lures Michael Myers out the house, gets ambushed by Tommy and the group that is formed, basically most of the town... It seems like they're taking out Michael Myers finally by all working together, but they're kind of doing it one by one, which, you know, that's dumb. Then it seems like they kill Michael Myers, like, the mum finishes him off, you know, Laurie Strode's daughter, with a knife. Yeah, that's going to kill him. He gets back up, and he kills basically everyone. 
when there's a whole crowd, like literally the you could say the whole town's there and they still get wiped out by Michael Myers. Even Tommy with his baseball bat, like. What? Michael Myers just with a knife kills everyone. Like they're all there. They could they couldn't just jump him and take him down. Like they they all get wiped out. Are you serious? Well the ones who are still around his body get wiped out. And then I guess the daughter gets killed as well. I mean Laurie Strode's daughter, she gets killed. So yep, yeah, but I didn't really care because she was dumb. Like she was with her she was with her daughter, but then she goes into back into the house, then she gets killed, looking out of the window. Why would you go back to the same place where many people have died? You know, Michael Myers' daughter, well, not daughter, sorry, sister, the Hawkins' partner. You literally stand in the same place as him, as the others who have died in that exact spot. I'm done. Lois Strode was just in the hospital the whole time. There was even a moment where she thought Michael Myers was dead and, you know, she's just talking to Hawkins about everything and his regrets and him blaming himself, you know, always blaming herself. A waste of time and dialogue. Uh, I'm done. I'm sorry, I'm done. Awful movie. I'm giving it a four. Forget five. It's, it's a four. It was terrible. It ruined the whole trilogy and even if they find a way to wrap it up well. But one more thing I'll mention. So, are they saying, like, maybe this house has something to do with Michael Myers? Like, it's not. It's never been about Laurie. It's never been about certain people in this town. Maybe it has something to do with that house. Maybe they're going to say, like, it possessed him. And that's why he always goes back to that house. Because it has a connection with him. So why don't they burn down the house? But maybe that's what they're going to do in, in the final movie, Halloween Ends. They're finally going to burn down the house. I mean, I'm surprised no one's done that by now. But yeah, even even in the previous timeline, like the first timeline, no one's burned down Michael Myers' house. But that was kind of a different story direction anyway, so yeah. But I'm thinking like, it has everything to do with the house, really. Like maybe Michael Myers got possessed and that's why he became this killer. Because every time he kills people and by the end, he goes back to that same house. I mean, the only reason he was in Laurie's house in the 2018 movie was because of that weird you know, a doctor who wanted to bring Laurie and Michaels together, like, thinking they had a connection. But yeah, I'm done. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching my review. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. God, that was so dumb.